All right, folks, this is a 52-inch Lasco American Classic I have set up here in my ceiling peeling garage. I just cut that loose. I have a video of it coming, but um, it'll be a little bit because this one here is my first priority. Priority? But I still have the video for that one coming. Anyway, this is 52 inches. Um, it needs some work on the light kit. I'm probably just going to replace it because it doesn't match, first of all. And the screws don't even try to hold a globe. Well, they are now, but when it has a globe on it, they don't. It came with a light globe. It's a schoolhouse globe, and it has little flowers printed on it and some decorative lines around the edges. It's kind of cool. Very 70s. But the light doesn't work, so um, I'll be fixing that. But anyway... I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to test this out. And again, I've got the video on this one coming. This uh, I think it's a heritage, but someone's going to have to clarify. But anyway, I've got that one coming. But anyway, here we go. Uh, and just for reference, this is my second American Classic. I have uh, the 42-inch version, but I had to replace the blade arms on it. Because they're old and they break very easy. So I'm going to take very good care of these. But if one breaks, one breaks. I've got replacements. Anyway, okay, is it, that's not plugged in. Plug it in here. Amazing. All right. Hey, that might be why the light wasn't working. Hold on. Sidetrack alert, but I'm going to put another bulb in here, and we're going to see if it works or not. Awesome. Now I'm going to put in the bulb it came with. And uh, it came with, I bought it for 20 bucks at an antique store with the globe and everything. But uh, I'm not going to put the globe on it because it blocks. Ew. Ew. Alright, well there's the light. So, there you go. I hate daylight lights, so I'll be throwing that out. Anyway, here we go. The light does work, it wasn't plugged in. And I'm an idiot. Alright, here we go. Enough talking about it all day. Low speed. If you want my constant narration, you're not getting it. Well, you may. I don't know. And that noise in the background is a heater. It is 40 degrees outside and I'm in a garage, so I have a heater going in here. It's pretty toasty now. I got it nice and warm. I'll be running a ceiling fan in here. I got it warm enough. Last I checked, these fans don't hit. But, if this one wasn't lower, they would. It blows a pretty good amount of air. It's got a lot of torque to it without the blades on it. It was amazing. While that is spinning, I'll put this bulb back in my carriage house too. Over here. Alright, I'll bump it up to medium now. It's a pretty good ceiling fan. I'm going to get some graphite lubricant and put it in the bearings because it's got a bearing noise. But other than that, it's a good fan. But I'll get some graphite. Graphite lubricant is good stuff for these. I don't know if you can get wind noise on the camera, but I've got chill bumps. So... There you go. There it goes. That's the other reason I don't like this light kit. It gets in the way. I may not put a schoolhouse light kit on it. But yeah, it's got a loud bearing noise. I will make sure that gets fixed. But I gotta get some graphite lube. Gotta give me some graphite lube first. So, I'll be going down to my shop tomorrow. I've got several tubes in there full of that stuff. I would have had the globe on it, but it's in the way. It was this big and it was blocking off a lot of the view. So I took it off. And like I said, the light kit's broke. Uh, it doesn't hold a globe right. I hate doing spin down, so I'm going to walk out of the room while it's spinning down, but it shouldn't take very long considering it's got a bad bearing.
thanks for watching. Have a good day.